4.3 is dealing with similar triangles, and we're going to start by learning to identify some of the triangles. So corresponding angles and corresponding sides, those are two of the main characteristics of triangles that we need to deal with when dealing with similar triangles. Uh, corresponding angles are angles that match on two different triangles. So here, there's a little circle indicating that uh, A and D are the same angle. Uh, the little square here shows that angles B and E are the same and they're both 90 degrees. And then angle C, there's a little arch or arc through there uh, that shows that they match. So angle C and F match as well. So those are called corresponding angles. Now, corresponding sides are somewhat similar. Um, once you can identify which angles are the same so that your triangles are oriented the same way, you can compare sides. So uh, side AB, which goes from the circle to the square, corresponds to side DE, which again is circle to square. AC, which in this case is the hypotenuse, is corresponding to DF. And then BC corresponds to EF. So those are called corresponding sides. Uh, similar figures. So triangles can be similar if they have the same shape but different size. So they can look the same, just a different size, and then they're considered similar. Um, if all of the corresponding angles are the same on the two different triangles, then they are considered similar. Or if all of the corresponding sides are proportional. So, uh, and proportional means that the ratio of the corresponding sides is equal. So, if you notice here, E to D is a length of 3 on this triangle, and it's 1.5 on A to B on this one, so it's twice as big. And then if you look at the other numbers, 2.6 is twice as big as 1.3, and then 2.2 is twice as big as 1.1. So they, this triangle is twice as big as this one, and all of your angles match as well. So we know that it's, uh, these are similar triangles. So again, just a quick summary, angle A and angle D match, angle B and E, match at 60 degrees, and then C and F are both 75 degrees. And as I said, uh, if you take AB and multiply it by 2, you get DE, and you can do that for all of the different sides. 2 is your scale factor from this to this triangle. So those are similar. Uh, so. Knowing those characteristics, we can analyze the situation to see if one triangle is similar to another. And here's our first example of that. We've got triangle EFG, and this is how we identify a triangle. We can draw a little triangle and then label its vertices. And we're wondering if it is similar to triangle ABC. Now notice the E is the square corner, and that's the first letter listed. A also has a square corner and is the first angle listed. F is the 37 degrees and is the middle one. The middle one over here is the 37 degrees B. And then G is, and C are the last ones. So they're written in the same order to help identify uh, the similarity of the two triangles. So we can compare them. Angle A is 90 degrees. Angle E is 90 degrees, so they're the same. Angle B is 37 degrees, and angle F is 37 degrees. Now, we're not told what angle C is, but we can actually calculate it. All of the angles in a triangle, when you add them up, here, when you add them up, they need to total 180 degrees. Doesn't matter what triangle you're dealing with, all of the internal angles add up to 180 degrees. So, if the sum of all the angles in a, in a triangle is 180 degrees, to find one missing one, you can subtract the two that you know from 180 degrees, and then that will give you the third one. So in this case, uh, we can take 180, subtract the 37 that we know, subtract the 90 that we know, and then that will give us the remaining amount. And so in this case, that's going to be 53 degrees. 
180 minus this 37 minus the 90 gives you 53 degrees. So this one here is 53 degrees. And we know that the angles are the same in this one, so we can say that that is also 53 degrees. Are the corresponding angles equal? Yes, they are. There is a match on each of them, two triangles. Um, now let's look at the corresponding sides. Uh, side AB has a length of 12. EF has a length of 4. So we can set up proportions here. And uh, when you do that, the 12 over 4, that's 12 divided by 4, is 3. So this one is three times as big as this one. If that is consistent across all of the three sides of the triangle, then that is another way to tell that the triangles are similar. So BC is the hypotenuse, and it's 15. FG is the other hypotenuse, and it's 5. So 15 divided by 5 is also 3. AC has a length of 9. And EG has a length of 3. Well, again, 9 divided by 3 is 3. So there's a scale factor of 3. Doesn't matter which side you compare. So that means that um, triangle EFG is similar. That's what this little tilde represents. It means it's similar to triangle ABC. And as another side note, when you're naming an angle, there's two ways to do it. You can use three capital letters, and the middle letter must be uh, the point where your two lines meet. So if you're talking about this angle L, for instance, uh, then you would reference it as angle KLM, or you could do angle MLK, but the L has to be in the middle if you're going to use three letters. The other approach is just to call it angle L, as shown here. So you have KLM or MLK, or just use the single letter. Next up is a show you know to compare uh, some triangles and uh, see if they're similar. Please go ahead and do that.